Hi, I'm Q from Data On, and here's a tutorial right to how to remove a CPU and install one. So here I have a 5208. I'll open up. You're being a data center, right? So you remove the lid. Of course, this is the kind of little bare bone. In your case, you might have some Manos card here or NIC card or any kind of card, but this what we're focused on are the CT CPU here. So here we have two CPU. One already installed and one about to be installed. So the first thing first, you have the right tool. One would be a T30 screwdriver. So T30 is pretty much like a star screw right here, right? So T30 is the size of it. It'll be to unscrew this four screw right here. So you can see you have one, two, three, four. And your heat sink will have a sticker on it. It will tell you how to remove and how to install. Follow the direction on this, it's very important for that. If you don't, do not have a sticker, then follow the instruction that we provide. So for now, let's, this is a screwdriver to remove it. So we're gonna show how to remove it. To remove it, you have to unscrew uh, from four, three, two, one, backward. And you can see right here, remove, four, three, two, one. It's important that you do it and I'll show you why after. So let's remove it now. Number four, number three, number two, number one. So, should be loose pull this right out. The reason why you want to screw that way and screw in the direction they recommend or tell you to, right, is because if you could see that little plastic, white plastic right here, this little washer right here, this washer hold everything in place, hold this actually screw in place of this heat sink. If you lose that, you tend to lose the screw. So it's important because if you don't screw that way, this washer will pop out and it will be nearly impossible to put it back on. So. Remember, unscrew four, three, two, one to screw it back on and install the CPU one, two, three, four. So I'm going to demonstrate now to put it back on. Of course, the CPU tries a three part the actual heat sink, your CPU, and the clip that hold the CPU. So, CPU, the latch that hold the CPU to the heat sink, and the actual heat sink. So, all right. And of course, you install there's an important little demonstration. If you could see that clip right here, the little triangle. Right? Well, I think it's a little bit bigger than it will match the, the triangle here. All right, that's the direction you want to match with. Yeah, you see the triangle right there. All right, and of course, you can see the triangle right here again. Didn't demonstrate. And it's very important that you don't touch the, C, the transistor on the CPU side or the pin. Corrosion is very important because you have oily hand. Even though you may clean it, right? You still have to some oil. You touch that part, right? Over time, it will corrode the CPU. All right, do not touch the pin because you can damage it and do not touch the actual um, CPU side. So let's put this back on. Remember, triangle to triangle. Carefully do this because you don't want to damage your CPU. Put it in, of course. Follow the instruction, install it. one, two, three, four. So, sorry, screw number one. Two. Three. Four. Of course, always check to make sure it's tightly in place, but not too tight. Okay. Good. Okay, so that's how to remove and install a CPU. Let's go a little more in depth. So just in case, maybe you're not removing, right? You may be removing and install a new CPU, not, not to, to assemble a whole new server. So when you're putting a new CPU in, or is this in server? 
this is what you see. So I have my CPU over here, heat sink. So CPU heat sink, same one, of course, all right? Get at the latch and the actual CPU. Uh, to make this a little easier and short in time, I already have the thermal paste term, uh, or liquid metal on top of this. So I'm using liquid metal. So this is a liquid metal or thermal grease. So kind of about thermal grease is, you know, easy to apply, easy to spread. Sorry, pro is easy to spread, right? Uh, easy to apply. The con of that is it can get a little dirty. Uh, have a thermal grease or, or thermal paste spreader because you want to spread nice and evenly. You don't want too much where it's spread out, right? Enough on top here. So you can put on CPU. Um, thermal paste, right? Might be a little tougher to spread compared to uh, liquid metal, but still. So it looks easier. So what you want to do is make sure, of course, the triangle. Because the triangle is where you, how the CPU, uh, CPU is placed. You can see the CPU has a little triangle mark on top of this. So let's put this here so you see it. You can see a little triangle mark right there in the corner. You want to match it with the latch. All right, so here's the latch, as you can see. So all I'm gonna do is, and you can see the liquid metal is a little bit messy. I'm barely touching it. You don't wanna get any on the CPU. You don't wanna damage it, okay? So make sure you're not touching the CPU with that. So triangle, matching with the triangle in this corner. So put it in carefully. What you could do first, since you know this is demo you could put the cpu on here to the latch have it latched down right flip it over since it's latched down it's sturdy in place flip it over put a little thermal uh paste or liquid metal on it right and spread it around right so you won't cause no, too much mess once you've done that remember here you always make sure this match up with the screw. So this will go always go, the warden will always face the back of the CPU. I'm oh, sorry, back of the server. Always face back of the server. You wanna make sure this match up with your board. As you can see, this is a CPU cover. Make sure it doesn't get damaged. You can see that little triangle. You make sure that latch match up. Okay, so the triangle, right? This facing toward the end of the server, the wording, right? So I'll flip this right over. I should you could just put this way on the way. Put right in, push it down. All right. Then the thermal paste will spread on the heat sink evenly. See, remember the little white lash screw in correctly, or hear a little pop, and that means that if you put it in correctly, you get a little pop, that means it won't screw in tightly, and you probably like unpop the, the little washer. So let's put this down. So let's go into the port installation. So remember the little triangle, right? Matching with the triangle on the board. Okay, now put it in, everything's matching. Carefully put it in, Just stay in place. Get your T30 screwdriver and install it. And you should have an instruction, always have the instruction, one, two, three, four. Screwing down number one. Screwing down number two. Working way to number three. And finally, ooh, there's a little on there. Number four. Just 
just make sure it's good. Type in well, good. Now you can see the all matching. Everything is done correctly. All right, you could power on the board to make sure you know everything read. Once you put in BIOS, if it passed the post, you can see that the CPU will be fine, run will be fine. This is how you install a CPU on a 5208. Of course, this will apply to a 5216. Uh, most of the will be the same. If you have any questions, please contact later on. Have a great day.